we consider stopping any medication at that point once there's no perceived benefit. So again, if it's really not working, if the patient's really not tolerating it well. If they're starting to refuse the medication, because a lot of times in nursing home, patients still have the right to refuse, even though a nurse is still giving the medication. If they refuse that medication and it's consistently refused, then we need to start considering, do we need to stop the medication? Also, since some of the side effects, especially with the cholinesterase inhibitors, have to do with nausea, vomiting, and anorexia, if they just stop eating, or if they just sort of just stopped intaking as much as they normally do for nutritionally, then we need to consider, is it because of the medication? Consider tapering off the medication at that time. Also, if you're entering hospice care, as again, that's kind of, once you're in hospice care, it gives you that prognosis of that you have only approximately six months before you unfortunately do pass away. So at that point, there's no real perceived benefit of keeping the patient on that medication through the hospice period. And also, if it's a, these medications can become quite expensive, especially towards the end of life. And if there's a true financial hardship, then we really need to consider if this medication is truly beneficial for the patient.